Well, hello there, folks. I'm here in front yard, and I just made a video on that um, unfortunate um, site there of my uh, needle palm. Second loss of this winter. Um, it's funny, I lost my least hardy palm, my hardiest palm, um, both for different reasons. I'm sure camera ops really was cold damage. Um, this, clearly not, but um, yeah, unfortunate to see. Um, and uh, then we have my needle palm up here. Uh, excuse me, my, my stable miner, that's my needle palm over there. Um, dwarf palmetto. And uh, very strange to see because this palm, um, similar spot as this, obviously you can see right, right here. I was gonna end up moving it back actually if because um, I just thought it was too close to the yard uh, for when it grows larger, but very, very odd. It, it's the same spot, so it could be something about the soil, the mold potentially in the, in, in the ground, um, but very strange. It sort of got the freeze dried look on some of the outer leaves. I just pruned them away. I thought, okay, that's just a little bit of damage or something. Um, it'll be fine. But look at this, look at this. I wanna get your guys' thoughts on this. You guys see these beautiful leaves look great. It was, it was really strange because again, this 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 shows me that this clearly not cold damage, whatever this is, because before last winter, even I know they grow really slowly and I know they don't grow a lot um, in winter. They grow really not at all in winter. But even before winter started, like right when it was like just starting to get a little colder, but not cold at all, this thing just shut down growing. I'm like, that's pretty strange. Um, and then it looked good through most of winter, but you could see it was putting out its first mature leaf for. Um, um, for, you know, leaflets and uh, it was gonna open up and I'm, I'm sure it looked great. And then it's got this little one here, this tiny one that's just starting to open. But um, look at this, look at this browning here. Very, very unusual. So below this, again, it's still nice and green, greenish uh, blue here, but um, sorry guys, check that out. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Look at this, like a ring of browning. And I don't know, I mean, it still looks okay, uh, but it's pretty like yellowish white down there. And I know they obviously are lighter down there where it gets less sunlight but that looks unusually light to me. And again, I don't usually see the palm from this angle because usually there's leaves surrounding it, but you can see where I, um, sorry, at the base there where I cut those two away, cicada shell there from last year probably. Um, but really, really strange, it's got the tap root there. Um, I just wanna get your guys' thoughts, I'll just do a quick video on this. And then, um, yeah, please let me know what you guys think. Very, very strange, almost certain that whatever's happening to this is not cold damage. And you guys know, my trackies in the back, uh, you know, spear pull from that, that is cold damage. One of them was stunted, one of them just, you know, was small, unprotected. Um, so that, that's undoubtedly cold damage. God, the mosquitoes out here, by the way, already is terrible. Uh, <laughs> summers are crazy humid and mosquito-y, buggy here. But anyways, um, what, I wanted, what I wanted to say is that the ones in the back, yeah, spear pull on a, on a you know, camera ops or on my little trackies, which are thankfully now recovering just a little, uh, that, that is obviously from the cold. Um, you know, they're in a good spot and everything. Um, this is not cold damage, whatever this is. This is almost certainly, what happened in the needle palm, undoubtedly not cold damage. Maybe the cold played a factor in it. Um, but uh, this uh, also, just very, very strange, cold damage will appear on the outer, um, the outer, you know, it'll start to appear on the outter bits of the leaves. The leaves will get started to get browning. This will get that freeze dried look sometimes. This is not cold damage. This is something, something else, this really weird ring of, of browning here. Let's just hope it pulls through, but you can see just how uh, you know, diminished it looks from its former state with all the leaves coming out here. Uh, very, very strange, but uh, yeah, I wanna get your guys' thoughts because uh, that is very unusual. I'm gonna use this as the thumbnail, I guess. It's, yeah, very uh, unusual. Let's, let's get the, here. And anyways, I do have some good news, which is that my, uh, my, my trackies are, thankfully, at least one of them is starting to show a sign of recovery. So that's uh, that's the news, but um, I just wanna get, get your guys' thoughts on this and then we got some good news coming. So that's always good. There's always some good news. Light at the end of the tunnel. All right, take care, folks. Have a good one.